Zestina. Welcome to our next spooky monster corn tradition, April Ghoul's Day. Beware, Rainbow Corns. It is a day of surprises around every corner. Oh, no! This must be the monster corns version of April Fool's Day. So, we've got to watch out for pranks and tricks. <laughs> And fluffy. That wasn't a bad prank. Oh no! Where's my ukulele? I've retuned and polished your ukulele until it sparkled. Oh, that's very nice. Thank you. April Ghouls! It's my crafter kit! What's that doing here? Uh -huh. I restocked your crafter kit with all the best glitters, paints, and crafts. April Ghouls! Oh, thanks! How thoughtful! And Zestina, I organized your favorite perfumes. April Ghouls! Wow, that's perfect! Thank you! I don't understand these April Ghouls Day pranks. Yeah, it seems like they keep doing nice things for us. says, come to the kooky kitchen for a big surprise. Uh-oh. I bet this is when they're actually going to trick us. There's only one way to find out. Hello? Hello? Monster corns? Surprise! Ah! We made all your favorite desserts! You rainbow corns sure have been jumpy all day. We thought you were going to prank us like on April Fool's Day. We did prank you. On April Ghoul's Day, we surprise our friends with kindness. That's a way better holiday. I wish there was some way we could repay your kindness. Oh, there is. You could help us clean out our attic. Whoa, the Monster Corn's attic needs a monster-sized makeover. Once upon a time, the two greatest puppy groomers in Rainbowville set off on a magical adventure. Missy, this is straight out of a fairy tale. I know, DJ. Can you believe we are going to groom the royal puppy corn of the fairy corn princess? Bring the extra special bow. This pup is going to sparkle. Welcome to Fairy Corn Palace. I am Princess Royale! Thank you for inviting us, Your Highness! Thank you for coming! My royal puppy corn does not like taking baths. No prop, Princess Royale. We've handled plenty of feisty pups. This is Rufus. Say hi, Rufus! Hello? Hi, buddy! No bath! Rufus, no! Bring your sponges, Missy. We've got a runner. It's okay, Princess. We'll find him. He's not under any of the banquet tables. He's not in any of the chandeliers. Oh, dear. Rufus knows every hiding spot in this palace. He could be anywhere. Good thing I have this magic bubble potion. With just a drop, we'll have a bubble bath anywhere. There he is. I got him. I got him. No rat. No, I lost him. He's using our bubbles against us. I can't see. Come back, Rufus! We can follow his paw prints. Wait! Oh! That place is creepy! Oh no! He's gone into the Forbidden North Tower! <laughs> Looks like nobody has dusted here in years! No one is supposed to go into the North Tower. Legend says it's... Horn! 
Isn't it? It is our duty as puppy groomers to get Rufus back to you. Even if it is a little scary. of the Adopticorns! Here's your pacifiers. And your little diapers! We can't wait to find a home for all of these adorable Adopticorns! Whoops! You're a clever one, aren't you? Back in the playpen! Spinella, so nice to see you out at Puppycorn Park! Are you interested in adopting an adopticorn? Um, yes. More than anything, I want to adopt an adopticorn, but I don't know what kind of mommy I will be. It's okay to be nervous. Just follow your rainbow corn heart and ask yourself, what will you be? So much choice, so many things to do. I know you'll make the perfect choice for you. Life's so much fun. Something for everyone Now anything is possible So take your chance to be Just shine and sparkle Let them see you'll be Just who you want to be yeah. The choice is yours now So what will you be? Don't be to try to wait Just take this chance Don't hesitate yeah. This life is yours now So what will you be? Just shine and sparkle Let them see you'll be Just who you want to be Okay, what will I be? The Adopticorns are learning their first words. Mama! Bingo! Heart! Sparkle! What's your word, Nino? Mama? What will I be? I'll be your adopted mommy. Let's give a cheer for the newest mommy in Rainbowville. Yeah! yeah! You'll inspire little Nino to be the best rainbow corn she can be. Up. We'll put your puppies in a tub. That's right, Rainbow Bill. Step right up. Missy and DJ are here to groom your little puppy corns in our fabulous bathmobile. Starting a puppy corn grooming business was a great idea, Missy. I know. With this plan, we'll be able to put on your mythical musical. Oh, yes. The mythical musical. It will be my masterpiece. Part fairy tale, part musical theater. It's a fantasy extravaganza. Oh, I can't wait. How many puppies have we groomed so far? I have thought about grooming seven imaginary puppies. How many real puppies? Zero. Hmm. Let's head to Puppy Corn Park. There's always puppies getting into mischief there. Wowzer, you weren't kidding. <laughs> That poodle plaid? Is that a purple polka dot pooch? These paint covered puppies need a bath time, big time. Missy, DJ, thank goodness you're here. I was teaching a paw painting art class and doggy dance lessons at the same time, and the puppy corns got carried away with their creativity. No prob, Nala. We'll suds up the tub and teach these puppy corns some new dance steps. Adorable bow. Now, double time. So, scrub, splash, sparkle next. So, scrub, splash, sparkle next. So, scrub, splash, sparkle I next. I love this beat. So, scrub, splash, sparkle next. We did it. Wow, thank you. You really 
please save me. You turn these pink covered pooches into pristine pops. You're welcome, Nala. Make sure to give us a rating on Rainbow Reviews. You're definitely getting five gemstones from me. In fact, I'm so happy that I've recommended you to a special customer. Special customer? Who? The princess. <gasps> Whoa! We're going to groom the royal puppy corn of Princess Princess Corn. This'll be our biggest job ever. to our Easter game. An egg hunt by a different name. We'll be playing Duck, Duck, Boo. But in our hunt, the yolk's on you. <laughs> That's right, Rainbow Corns. Thank you for joining us on our monster corn version of an Easter egg hunt. How is it different from a rainbow corn egg hunt? Because monster corns love to surprise you with fun frights. You'll get a point for every egg you find, and the monster corns get a point for every fright. Get ready, get spooky! Duck, duck, boo! Oh, look! There's an egg right here! Wow! Oh, now I get how this game works. That's one egg for Royale and two frights for Chomp Chomp. Got another one! I've found three eggs and I've not been scared once! Ah! <gasps> I should have seen that coming! With my egg grabber, I can stand back and pick up eggs without the chance of a fright! Axel gets a point for scaring herself! Ha! Uh, yes! I meant to do that! Duck! Duck! Yahoo! <laughs> you finally got me! Points for Spooky Sue! Okay, that's all the eggs. And the score says it's a tie! But where's Zestina? Ah! Wow, Zestina just got ten frights! Yay! Yay! You've really gotten into the monster corn spirit! Happy Easter one and all from the monster corns! every single rainbow corn in Rainbowville. This is gonna take forever. Knock, knock. Who's there? Axolotl. Axolotl who? <laughs> you axolotl questions. <laughs> I'm Axel, the axolotl corn. I'm Zestina, the dancing puppy corn extraordinaire. <laughs> And I'm currently in a lot of trouble. Look at all those rainbow corn eggs. Could you help me, please? You've come to the right corn. I fancy myself a crafter, a problem solver, a fixer. Perfect. I'm more of a dancer than a crafter. I tried to... Shake, shake, shake the eggs. Rock and roll the eggs. Tap. Tap the eggs? Anything to crack the eggs! I got it! While you were singing and dancing, I built this DIY hack for hatching eggs. I call it the hatch a hack o -matic. Wow! You really are crafty. Give it a crack! Zestina, Axel, thanks for helping me hatch. That's two down. Only all of Rainbowville to go. Cheer up, Zesty. We'll work together. And I can craft up something to crack him even faster. Oh, wow. I have 
haven't seen this many shells since I sold seashells by the seashore. Hmm. The auto hatch a crack a shallow cycle is much faster, but we still need to go faster. Here's the next egg. <sighs> I'm exhausted. At this rate, we'll have everyone hatched in 37 weeks. 37 weeks? That's way too long to wait. I do have a DIY hack that could have everyone hatched by Valentine's Day. That's perfect. What is it? It's my top secret cracko hacko shalakama doodle. Crackama what? Well, I'm going to need scissors, glue, 400 sheets of craft paper, and a mountain of glitter. How much glitter? A mountain of glitter. That's right! Today is the day we unveil Axel's big plan to rehatch the rainbow corns. With craft paper, glitter, and my amazing crafting abilities, I have created the biggest Valentine ever! Wow! But Axel, I don't understand. How is that going to hatch all the eggs? When a rainbow corn feels the magic of friendship, their heart glows. That signals the egg that they are ready to hatch. This big valentine will send out a valentine to every egg, and it will remind the rainbow corns of our friendship. That's just magical enough to work. Okay, Zestina, use your magic horn to send out the valentine signal. <laughs> It's not cracking the eggs. I'll boost the signal. <coughs> Axel, are you okay? We have to put our horns together for more Valentine magic. Friendship magic from our horns. Reveal all of the rainbow corns. The eggs, they're hatching. It's working! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! We saved Rainbowville! What's that on the horizon? It looks like a haunted house! And look at that spooky egg! Greetings, Rainbow Cards! Thanks you very much for the Valentine! Whoa! You're welcome? I am Fangarama, one of the many mysterious monster corns. Monster corns? Under the light of the full moon, the monster corns are hatching soon. Join us for a ball tonight. Monster corn manor can be quite a fright. List. Wildflower banners, chocolate mountain cake, fairy corn fireworks. You're such a fabulous party planner, Missy. Ah, thanks, DJ. She's going to love it. I have just a few more surprises to take care of. One last thing before the party. I want to do a super special dance routine. Sure. I'll come up with some steps. Start with a stomp, shake, and jump, jump, jump three times. Got it? Um, sure. Clap, clap, and bake a pie, and, and drive a car. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Beep, 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 beep. <sighs> this will be harder than I thought. OK, I think you're ready to try it on your own. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve! I'm sorry, DJ. I get excited for the dance and forget all the steps. It's okay. 
I just wish I knew how to help you remember. I like dancing, but I mostly just imitate what I see in the forest. Hey, that's it! Maybe if the moves remind you of the forest, you'll remember them better. Let's give it a try. Stomp and shake like you got ants in your fairy pants. And do a bunny corn hop. Hop, hop, hop. Bouncy, bounce, bounce. I did it! Now I'll try on my own. Dance, dance, fairy pants. I've got ants in my fairy pants. Bunny hop. DJ, I can't wait to teach everyone our new dance. It's going to be so much fun. And so easy to remember. Whee! Phew, time for a quick nap. Again, Princess Royale. Did Rufus fall in a mud puddle? <laughs> no bath! No, DJ and Missy, he's okay. I wanted to introduce my adventurous sister, Princess Ruby! Pleased to meet you, Your Majesty. <laughs> Call me Ruby. Oh, look, you've got Fairy Corn Palace on your heart. It glows whenever someone in the kingdom is in need of my help. Whoa! And I've heard you two have been helping out all over the kingdom. I love it! You should be rewarded! Ruby, Rufus, and I have decided to put on your mythical musical right here at Fairy Court Palace! Yippee! This will be the fanciest of festivities. We can use the royal kitchen to make any food we want. Now, of course, we'll have healthy veggie treats. Carrots, pickles, celery sticks, energy food. Oh no, I was thinking more fancy desserts, like cake and ice cream. Hmm, what if you collaborated on a tasty treat together? DJ, yes! It's a cooking challenge, and you be the judges! Let's go! We present to you... Pickle Ice Cream! Two great tastes! That don't taste great together. Sorry, chefs. I appreciate the feedback. We will try again. Let's go! Here we go! We've combined our two absolute favorite foods. Healthy carrots and fancy cake into... Carrot cake! It's delicious! Yummy! This will be the perfect treat for the mythical musical. We did it! Yes, yes, yes! Now what to do for the costumes? I was thinking gorgeous pool gowns! That are also parachutes for skydiving! Let's go! Oh boy, here we go again! to clean out the monster corn's attic. Because they're nice? Whoa! Zestina? Hey, look at all these old costumes. We can't just get rid of these. We could upcycle them into some fabulous fits. And put on an eco-friendly fashion show. Spinella, have you been up there the whole time? Indeed. Now let's add a little monster corn magic to bring these clothes to life. Stitches, zippers, patches too. Help these clothes to live anew. 
welcome to our recycled runway. The green, glam, grim, go up. Phew, that's a lot to say. First up, we've got Chomp Chomp giving the runway a stomp stomp with a spooky chic skirt made from the material of an old scarf. Hold on tight, that skirt still has some spirit in it. Next up, it's Fangarama. Did you know you could recycle your relatives' old clothes? We took these pajamas that belong to Fangarama's grandma and made them glamour. Give it up for Fangarama's grandma's glamour pajamas. And finally, it's Spooky Sue. Instead of trashing her touristy t-shirt from her trip to Transylvania, it has been transformed into a terrific tote bag, which also turns into bats sometimes. Whoops! Whoa, that was a close call. Let's give a hand for our Monstercore models and their spooky stylists. That's how we upcycle old clothes, monster corn style. What's this? I know what that is. It's an Exania egg. But what was it doing in our manor? to do a big stunt during the grand finale of the mythical musical. What if something goes wrong? Well, we can prepare here in the fanciest magical gymnasium in all of Rainbowville. It is pretty amazing in here. And I can be your personal coach. Tell your old coach what you're worried about. I have to jump, flip, and go through three hoops. But... <laughs> What if I fall into uh, a giant ice cream sundae? Mmm, that sounds delicious. Is there going to be a giant ice cream sundae in the show? No, I mean, it is Rainbowville, so anything could happen. But no. Well, then I think that's one worry you can cross off the list. What if a huge cookie falls on me? Or I get tangled in a big pile of spaghetti? You have food on the brain. Do you need a snack? Here's a protein bar. Hmm, yeah, I was hungry. Okay, back to it. But what if something else bad happens? DJ, let it go. Here, you can have my very special magical Tiara of Troubles. Whenever you have a worry, it will protect you. Perfect. Now give it another try. Mmm, giant pumpkin pie. No. Stuck in a huge donut? No. I wasn't worried about anything. No dessert-filled doubts for this rainbow corn. Once I was able to focus, I was able to concentrate on what was important. This tiara really works. Actually, the tiara didn't do anything. That was all you overcoming your worries. Really? That was all me? Yeah! This is actually the magical tiara of tasty treats. Want a giant ice cream sundae? Sure, let's celebrate.
diapers are not hats. Okay, Nino, it's time to slow it down now. Uh, hi, Spinella. I need your help. Hi, Charmelina. Sure, what's wrong? I'm stressed out. I have too much to do before Exania Fairy Academy starts this year. I can help you. But first, I need Nino to go down for her nap time. No nap time. I'm not sleepy. You're getting really rowdy, and I think you're about to... Oh, crash! <laughs> There. Now listen to this lullaby, little Nino. Sometimes I feel that life is tough. Sometimes I feel like I'm a little stuck. And though I try, it might not feel enough. But I keep trying. I need to pause to take a break. Breathe in, it's going to be okay But there are times when I don't feel great It's overwhelming Breathe, breathe, feel the release I'll take some time to let the sun shine in Slow, slow, let these feelings go to wear me out I'll slow it down I will slow it down Set my feet on solid ground Ooh. There we go Feel better, Nino? Yes, I feel like a quick <coughs> Oh, good Now, Charmelina What did you need help with? <sighs> Yes, it's always helpful to slow it down now and then. Night, night. Places, places, everyone! The mythical musical is now open. Congratulations, DJ and Missy. I know how hard you worked on your big show. Thanks, princesses. We even have a special guest star for the opening song. Ta-da! Wow, Pudding Pop! I loved you at Sparkle Fest. I am so excited to be playing the Queen of Sunshine Land. Now just remember, you've been trapped by a wizard inside a giant cotton candy tower. Then I'll come out and save you by saying the magic words, Sparkaloo, Sparkly. What happened to Pudding Pop? Oh no, she just disappeared. The magic words in my story must have really been real magic words. And the show's about to start. Ruby and I will try to find Pudding Pop. You two find someone to sing Pudding Pop's song. Hmm, I think I've got just the corn for the part. Mosey, come in, Mosey. We need you to sing in the mythical musical. I thought you'd never ask. Once upon a time, in the magical land of Sunshine Land, the queen of the sunny corns was trapped in a magic cotton candy tower. Help me! Help me! It is I, Princess DJ the Breeze, here to help. Sometimes the world can bring me down. But I just have to look around. My friends are waiting just for me. Help you, my queen, with the magic words, sparkaloo, sparkly. Hey, I'm back. The magic words made Pudding Pop come back. Yeah. Woo oh, yeah. <laughs> you saved me. And Mosey say 
save the show! But the stage is covered in cotton candy! What will we do now? Want to meet the monster corns? Of course! I have so many questions! Like, where did they come from? And why is everything so spooky around here? Ah! Uh, you should ring the doorbell! Look at that! It opened! All on its own! Hello, monster corns? We're here to welcome you to Rainbowville! But if you're not home, we can come back another... Hi! Ah! Oh, sorry about the lights. We're getting ready for the big monster corn hatching ball. In the darkness of the night shines a beam of clear moonlight. The fog now lifts on the pumpkin patch, for monster corns are about to hatch. First up, it's the cutest zombie mouse in the house. It's Chomp Chomp. Next, it must be a full moon out. It's Howly. <laughs> Finally, the most spooktastic, gruesome twosome of all, Boo Boo and Spooky Sue! We welcome new monster corns and new friends all to Monster Corn Manor and the Hatching Ball! <laughs> <laughs> monster corns aren't as different as I thought. You hatch, you have horns and hearts. But where have you been? We've always been here. You just weren't able to see us until now. Long, long ago, Monstercorn Manor was cursed by a magic spell. Cursed to disappear from the rest of Rainbowville and become completely forgotten. But somehow, luckily, the spell must have been reversed. That is quite the mystery. But I'm sure that if we learn more about the monster corns, we can solve their mystery. Exactly. You should play our favorite game, Duck, Duck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm still not used to all the scares. It doesn't bother me. I'm too tough for food. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, you got me. I could use a little help. Oh no, the whole stage is covered in cotton candy. Not just the stage, the crowd is covered too. What are we going to do? We'll never see DJ do her grand finale. How are we going to clean off everyone in Rainbowville? Ruff, ruff. No breath. Ruff, ruff. That's it. <laughs> We've never used the Bathmobile super secret setting. The bubble blaster. It's the most heavy duty cleanup tool in the Bathmobile. Let's get bubbly. can go on. <laughs> and in the end, Princess DJ the Brave saved Sunnyland with the help of all her fabulous friends. Come on out here. I know you have everything you need. You have all the skills to succeed. There's something within you that's longing to bring you out to the world, so don't hesitate, go. Be the star of the show, make sure everyone knows that the person inside has nothing to hide. Be a star. Sparkle. 
couldn't have done it without my Rainbow Corn family. I'd like to invite you to meet more of the Rainbow Corn family. Who said that? Meet the Mermaid Corns! Yay! <laughs> We've got everything together so that Dee Dee can perform at your birthday party. Wow, thanks, Missy. And almost all the guests have arrived. <laughs> Announcing Her Royal Highness, Princess Royale. And her puppy corn, Rufus. <laughs> Hello, citizens of Rainbowville. <laughs> Sup, party corns? Oh, hi, Princess Royale. I didn't think you'd want to come to my birthday. Oh, no. What happened? Princess Royale was supposed to play the music at my birthday party, but her keyboard was cursed. Cursed? Listen, I'll show you. Mud puddles and gloomy skies. I dropped a basket of French fries. Rain, rain, rainbow corn. <laughs> That's the saddest thing I've ever heard. Will I ever play party music again? Well, this is a magical forest. Look into your heart and ask the fairy Boobocorns for help. Look at your heart! Oh, the rainbow ring on my heart! It's glowing! I feel... In two. Magic, magic, rainbow corn magic, rainbow corn magic, rainbow corn magic. I can sing again. I'm so happy. We should play the birthday party show together. Let's hit it. Rainbow corns go. the perfect perfumes for all the little pups at our brand new Perfumatorium. Mmm, sweet scent. What a surprise. Goodbye, Ruby and Royale. Why'd you say goodbye, Marabella? And why are you walking backwards? Today is opposite day. Opposite day? What does that mean? Oh, I know. It means that today we do everything backwards from how we would normally do it. It's just like in the old opposite day song. Opposite day, opposite day, up is down and boo means yay. Horses roar and lions neigh. Live your life in a different way because today is opposite day. Now let's close some of these perfume bottles for the puppy corns. Opposite day! I do hope that the new puppy corns will like our new sweet scent surprise. Ew! Ooh, these perfumes stink! What? Wait, it's opposite day, so Zestina means they smell good, right? No! I mean the S-T-I-N-K. Stink! She's right! They smell totally wrong! What happened? Uh-oh! I believe Royale made an opposite day unwish! Unwish? 
When Royale wished that the perfumes smelled good, she actually wished the opposite. She wished that the perfumes would stink. This is so confusing. I don't like opposite day. That means you do like opposite day. No, I don't. I wish I was back in my egg. What? Oh no! I unwished to be back in my egg and it put all the other rainbow corns back in their eggs! What am I gonna do?